back to my channel. Today we have a new fractal tone tutorial for you and this is kind of an update to a video I did quite a while ago, maybe around a year ago, and this is how to dial in John Mayer's tone for songs like Rosie and I Don't Trust Myself with Loving You and even the solo to like songs like Wildfire, uh, but this is how to dial in the Qtron and the Rogerlin Adrenaline type of tone. Uh, I made a few updates that I think maybe are getting it a little bit closer to the real deal. While it's never gonna be the real deal, um, we can always just approximate this. So I wanted to share this with you today. Uh, before that happens, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't uh, post my uh, regular amount of videos. It's been a pretty busy time with me finishing up uh, my school year uh, for teaching. So I'm gonna try and pump out as many videos as I can and hopefully it's uh, good content for you. And uh, don't forget to uh, hit that little like button and maybe some comments if you want to see some other type of videos in the future. And also uh, something I'm doing, uh, I have a bunch of presets that are on my channel, a lot of John Mayer type of stuff. I have a Clapton one as well, and it's all fractal related. If you are interested in those, um, you can leave a comment or I'll have my email address in the description box. And really all I'm asking is maybe just to leave a super thanks uh, using that super thanks function. Uh, whatever you want to pay, it just helps support the channel and helps me to produce newer content for you all. But enough of that, let's uh, dive into the Fractal Tone tutorial. Uh, today we're going to use my PRS Silver Sky and we're just going straight into the Fractal FM3 and I'll show you everything on how I dialed it in. Uh, but this is kind of an update, like I said, after doing a little bit of research and getting some uh, helpful tips from some guys on the Fractal forum. So let's go right into Fractal FM3 F Edit. So here's my signal chain right here. It's uh, kind of something similar to what you've seen before. Uh, the first clip, we had a drive, the filter block, and then your typical, like the amp cab and stuff. Um, for the amp, here are my settings. Nothing's really changed. Uh, it's pretty clean. Uh, I'll turn off uh, these guys and just play a little bit for you. So pretty clean, maybe just like a hair breakup, like if you really dig into it, but nothing much. So here are the settings. I don't think there's anything in the dynamics tab. So it's really just going through the ideal tab right here. So uh, the cabs, um, I kind of did something a little bit different with my cabs. Um, I tried the two rock one with a 160 uh, ribbon mic in front of it. Kept the room mic IR um, as well, um, but the only difference is uh, using a 2x12. The 4x12 rumble, um, I was getting some uh, extra like gain, and I didn't, I, maybe that was from like the extra amount of bass. But the intro clip was on this uh, cab combo. And then nothing in the preamp, I didn't do any low cuts. Did my typical room level uh, with the room shape being the room, not the hall. And then that's about it for the cabs. And then the reverb, um, 
it says it's on economy and that's what uh what i did for the intro and that's just because it's a really heavily populated signal chain um, but here are the settings for that so the intro clip is these guys right here so the drive it was my kind of clone type of uh, block right here so it's the FET boost here's the main page right here and then here's where it gets interesting with all the I feel like it's a lot of mid sculpting because it has a little bit more uh, it's a little different mid character than like a, a tube screamer so here are my settings nothing in the graphics EQ and then all I did right here was uh, change it to a germanium uh, diode clipping because that's what a clon is. And then moving on to the filter block, uh, didn't really change too much here except I adjusted the level quite a bit. I think it was at around like 5 dB uh, in my previous video, something like that. Um, and then nothing's changed in the frequency. Um, menu right here for the modifier but what has changed is i attached a envelope follower to the queue and someone on the fractal forum was um, kind of commenting about this that maybe it will help the note bloom a little bit more like a qtron would so here are my settings um, you can see the min in the max uh, that is all I adjusted and I just think it gives it more of that bloom um, Especially when you go up higher on the neck um, You can really hear it kind of quack a little bit. So let's just play a little bit and you will kind of hear what it does We'll we what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, Disengage the the Q envelope filter as well, but I'm on the neck pickup and everything is wide open here So, like I was saying before, when you go up to the higher parts of the neck um, and you play softly, you're going to get a soft tone, but then when you really dig in, it's going to really kind of come alive. So, kind of listen to this part. So, I think uh, another big component or really key feature to this type of tone is having that drive uh, before or maybe even after um, it's kind of unknown whether john uh, has some sort of boost or drive in the loop of the qtron these days but who knows uh, but i think this is getting pretty close but let's go ahead and see what happens if we uh, disengage uh, the envelope follower so for the for the cue. And then let's go ahead and re-engage it. And then we we're gonna have to put in uh, the same kind of uh, parameters here. So we'll just approximate it. I think this is about where it was. Okay, well there you have it. Those are my uh, new kind of features for this type of preset. Um, I think the the effect is more in the feel. Um, I'm not sure if you were able to hear it. I can definitely feel it, especially when I'm adjusting the pressure of when I'm uh, really hitting the strings hard and playing soft. I can 
really feel the note um, bloom. So hope that was helpful for you. Uh, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, and definitely uh, kind of switch between all the different pickup positions. Um, I find that with the in-between positions, maybe you're, you're not going to be able to get the, the notes on the E string to come alive as much. Maybe you might need to add uh, another drive or a different drive to get that to really open up a little bit. But hope this was helpful and we will see you next time. Bye.